All right, when should you top off your fuel? Uh, currently, we are at 123 miles left of range with AC 120, so a decent amount um, for kind of small errands here and there, but we have some um, some plans over the weekend, heading to LA proper um, and Orange County, just a lot of driving around, and uh, we just could use some extra range and given the unreliability of a lot of the infrastructure currently uh, I've noticed just more stations being down we can let's give it a check right now last time I checked diamond bar was limited which is the place I'm planning on going to it still is but as you can see Baldwin Park offline Placentia offline orange is online Cal State LA offline so it's just really inconsistent I don't want to risk this weekend's plans um based because of some hydrogen infrastructure issue so this is a definitely a downside um i know I, it seems like i only um published downside uh of this car downsides of this car but i promise you there are plenty of upsides in terms of this car um, itself the drivability and all that which i will make a video in the near future but currently um we are going to go to uh, diamond bar it is limited, but I only have, I still have some range left, so hopefully um, it can get me pretty close to full and I'll be happy with that. So let's go. All right, it's gonna be dark here, but listen out for that creek. I'm going over a speed bump. I don't know if you can hear that, but there's a slight creek in the rear that I'm still gonna get worked out. But here we go. It's going to be black again, or still black. Here's one more speed bump. Front's okay. Here's the rear. If you heard that, that was a loud one. That's from the rear sub harness or the subframe. It's going to have to be replaced. All right, here it is again. Hopefully, here's the rear. Uh, that time it was not too bad. I'm going to brake. You can hear that, the creaking. Spotted the somewhat released, newly released Fisker Ocean. It's the uh, Fisker's competitor or direct competitor to the the Tesla Model Y, um, the Ionic Five. Uh, looks pretty good. I like the original uh, Karma, even though the usability was terrible. But nice to see Fisker back on the road. Here we are pulling up to the Diamond Bar station. The gates should be closed and they are We're going to pull up to the intercom or communication thing. And then give them our name. Should be filling. Please stand by while I contact your party. Security, first last name. Access has been granted. Please enter. 360 camera. And we have some people in line. How many? We have one, two, three. We have a Toyota Mirai, Toyota Mirai, and a car you don't see very often, the older gen Honda Clarity. We are here. Here's where the hydrogen, um, I guess, generator or those experts out in the chat, please let me know. But the trailer is in there. They usually have cars out here lined up, but I guess they're doing something. Um, here we go. Pulling up. For our hydrogen friends. We are at the station. We have, including myself, we have four cars in line. Uh, it looks like there is a little bit of a lag with the filling, um, usually a limited. I don't know the exact reasons why, but uh, there's usually like a little buffer period. They ask you to wait before you fill. And it seems like that's happening with the current car. And um, so we have the one, two Mirais, Honda Clarity that they don't make anymore, but they did have that. And then we are here. So 
I'm gonna be waiting. It is, I don't have my watch on me. It is 7.38 p.m. at the moment. And then, uh, let's see how long this takes. 7.38, just got here. Let's go. Just had one of these pull up. And that is, assume gonna replace that one. But we'll see. Okay, we are waiting still. We had two more Mirai's first gens come through. So currently there are five cars in the queue and um, the tanker here is just waiting. I assume um, they're gonna wait till the current one runs out maybe and then replace it with this. So I guess in that sense, um, Air Products knew it was going down or gonna be out soon and then sent a truck over. So I guess that's good. The downside is at limited capacity or limited, however that's determined, uh, the car can't fill up yet. That's at the station. They have to wait however long it says. Uh, I think we've all been there probably, but usually when it's limited, it's, um, yeah, they, between fills, you have to wait a little bit. I don't know exactly why. I assume it has something to do with converting the, you guys know better than I do in the comments. So, um, however that conversion needs to take place to get into your car, I assume they need some more time for that, but yep. Here it is, hydrogen, com compressed hydrogen. Makes me nervous standing next to it. Um, but yep, there it is. And hopefully we can fill up soon. But currently there are five cars in line. Since we're all waiting here, um, person is still waiting for uh, to fill up. Same person, I'm sure they are irritated as we all are, I'm sure. But this is the only one that has any sort of fuel um, within a reasonable distance. So, yeah. So if you are looking for new friends, you want to make new friends every week, get to know your fellow hydrogen drivers, then you should get a hydrogen car. Get a Toyota Mirai, get a Hyundai Nexo, get any hydrogen car out there. You will be sure to make new friends at least once a week. Uh, so yeah, it's definitely a positive. If you want to do that, just hang out in the parking lot, car meets once a week. Uh, whether you like it or not, probably make some friends uh, through a mutual frustrations. So, all right, we are moving. Honda Clarity has moved. That means we can move up one. Turn off the lights to be polite. Let's see how long this takes, because it took a while for that first that first car to charge, but I know you can't see anything on the screen, but usually on the screen it tells you you can start filling in X amount of minutes and seconds. So that was about, currently it is 7.57. Last check-in was 7.40, so it's been, wait, 7.40, I think. So it's been about 17 minutes and waiting it was about 10, solid 10 at least, but we'll keep track this time. So, 47, right? Sorry, correction, 57. Let me just double check. Keep me honest. What was it? And 50, well, at the time, 57, so 58. We'll, uh,. See how long it takes from 7.57. I know I subtracted a minute, but it's because of my error. Alrighty, it's been a couple minutes and this gentleman is ready to pump. And from the headlights, it looks like we may have another victim, I mean car, um, coming in to the Diamond Bar Station. Take your picks. And all those Konas back there are EVs. And they have a Mirai right there, first gen. Take your pick. And there's a Kia EV way back there as well. A lot of EVs, Korean EVs. And the car is a Mirai, first gen, welcome. Another one, first gen, welcome. So there's two more. Oh, another one, party's here. There's three Mirai first gens joining the line. So it's the gentleman here, me, and then we have 
uh, two, one, one behind it, and then three more just came in. So do some math. We had four, now we have seven. Seven people in line at Diamond Bar. All right, the gentleman just finished, and I can see from here, it looks like 2.6 kilograms. I think he was hesitating because it wasn't full. I think he's debating, potentially doing it again. And he is leaving. Here we go. It's our turn. Let's pull on up. Okay. And this car is inconveniently parked right here, but this should be good enough. Here we go. All right, fuel cap. All right, it says wait 10 minutes. So, yep, 10 minutes. And the previous person filled up 2.7 kilograms for $69. But the price is still the lowest in the area, at least $24.99 a kilogram. I don't know if this is gonna reach, so I'm gonna readjust. But we have one, two, three, four, four, five at least cars waiting, and I'm sure more will come up soon. Just an FYI, just saw this, but on Monday, 1016, the station of Diamond Bar is gonna be down from 7 a.m. to 2 p.m., so first half of the day. Um, it's gonna be unavailable, temporary shutdown. Hopefully it means they're gonna increase capacity. Just kidding, I have no idea, but Anyone knows, please write in the comments, help everyone else out, but 10 16, Monday, it's gonna be down half the day. Do a price check, $24.99, which is great, but at a limited station, you still have to wait between cars. It was 10 minutes when I got here. 10 seconds, we're almost there. Good. Uh, ah, uh, good. Okay, great. So, doesn't work? Wait, okay, good. oh, we're good. Okay. Good. Okay. <laughs> made me nervous for a second. I was just talking to a fellow uh, Mariah owner, and uh, he has the first gen. He actually likes the second gen, how it looks and everything. He's giving him the specs, and um, likes the car, but obviously, like everyone else doesn't like the infrastructure. Um, who does? Much to be improved upon. All opportunity, right? So here we go. Seems to be working. Waited 10 minutes. Let's connect it to the car. to the races. Another, while we were talking, there's another Mirai that pulled in a second gen. So we are at once before five, six, six cars, or seven including me, currently at the Diamond Bar Station. Um, yeah, I got here at 7.40. Currently, it's about 8.20. I got here at 7.40. You do the math, been here for quite some time. Station is limited. There were only, I think it was four cars in front of me when I got here, but uh, each in between each car, uh, we had to wait about 10 minutes. So even if you were ready to load or um, fill up, the machine wouldn't let you. And it's just a matter of time before that truck needs to swap out, so there we go. All right, it's all it's giving me, 2.1 kilograms, $53. Definitely not full, nor did I did expect it to. All right, I think it's just conserving for everyone else. Let's get on the road and see how much that gave us. Good luck everybody else. 
a Friday night at Diamond Bar Station. In the car. Turn on the car. And let's first get out of everyone's way. Everyone's been waiting. We are at 257 miles. That is good enough for the weekend. Um, yeah. Pull up over here for a second. But yes, 257 miles. And that's a wrap. When should you top off? Whenever you can, whenever you have time. Maybe bring an audio book. Just get ready for at least an hour just in case. But today I didn't really have much else going on. So perfect time to fill up, top off. Let's give a little status check of everywhere else. See how the other stations are doing. Diamond Bar Limited. Baldwin Park is online, which is great, but it'll probably be offline very soon. Given how things are going, Hoying Gardens, just a mix of inconsistency. Let's put it in park. Ooh, that's not, that's ugly. But yeah, again, like, kind of, ah, uh, not a great, just too many colors. It should be all green in theory, or mostly green, but it is not.